video, I'm going to be showing you a very cool little hammerhead shark in the water for Shark Week. This one is going to be kind of a layered design, sort of like a lot of resin art that I've seen where you kind of do different layers and then you encapsulate and it's just really cool. I love the way this one turned out. It is three dimensional, there is a shark fin that comes up out of the water, it is a little bit textured, but it's not over the top crazy 3D where I don't feel like you could not wear it, that it's impractical to have on your nails. For sure, I hope you like it, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So we're going to begin by creating that beachy background. So with a beachy sandy color, like a gold glitter, I'm going to add a little fade from the cuticle area going down for the sand. And then with some kind of a blue or a teal or an aqua color, I'm going to add my water going up. Both of the sand colors and the water colors need to be very, very thin because we are doing multiple layers to create this shark in the water encapsulation. Everything needs to stay very thin. Using a secondary color that should be a little lighter than the first one, you're going to add a, another blend again keep everything very thin so all of these colors I'm using are going to be very very thin in uh, texture so they're going to be very watery so you want them to be monomer heavy now you're going to start sculpting the shark this is also going to be very thin this is going to be thicker it's going to be taller but it's still going to be very thin everything needs to stay on the thin side so sometimes when you're sculpting 3d you want things to be very dimensional very tall that's not the case here everything needs to stay on the flat side so we're going to sculpt our little sharky, do his body. It's like a, you know, a long tapered pointy thing, you know, shark style. Then we're going to add a little bit more widen up the area by where his head is going to be. I'm going to have him swimming toward the shore. You can switch up the type of shark. I wanted it to be a hammerhead or a bonnethead shark just so that it had kind of that, I you know, very definite shape when you're looking down on it. And I didn't want it to be a great white shark or one of those kinds of sharks because those terrify me so badly. And well, I could look at reference photos for them. That is really the main reason. I couldn't, I just couldn't look at the photos. So I needed to have a different kind of shark. So here we are. We have ourselves a less scary, less terrifying shark, at least in my brain. So we've got ourselves a hammerhead. We're going to make those very, very specific little T shapes coming off the sides of our shark. Then we're going to be adding the dorsal fins. Nope, we're not. We're going to be adding the pectoral fins. Dorsal fin comes later. Don't mind me. So the pectoral fins, those are like the arm fins that are coming off the sides. Everything here, if you look at it from the side, is thinner than what your apex would be. So if you look at this from the side view, everything needs to stay thinner than what your nail would be. If you notice, your shark is also going to want to stay towards the center of the nail. The reason for it being in the center of the nail is that that's where you want the thickest portion of your acrylic to be. So if your shark is in the center of the nail, that's going to help guide your general shaping towards their apex and everything else being near the center. Add a second set of fins that are closer towards the tip of the tail. These are going to be much smaller than the pectoral fins. Everything here was light gray. So to add some shading, since everything is going to be internalized in this nail, I'm going to be using very thin black acrylic. Basically dip your brush in your monomer and then use just the very, very tip of your brush to barely dip it into black. Wash over your shark with the black to outline it, to add some shading, and to just give it a little bit more definition. You can't use acrylic paint to outline your shark or do any of that because once you go to encapsulate this with acrylic, the acrylic will melt your acrylic paint and it will get rid of it. Add some shading around your shark as if it's shading the ocean floor so that it will add some extra just detail, extra depth. It'll make this nail look like it's thicker by adding that shading beneath your shark to one side with your thin black acrylic. After you have that on that side, take white acrylic or a lighter shade of gray and highlight your shark on the opposite side from where you added the shading. So if you added your shading to the right side of your shark, add some highlighting on the left. Now with the same color that you used to add the original sculpting of your shark, you are going to need to add your two fins are going to be sticking up out of your water. So you're going to sculpt those on a nail form backing. This is shiny sticker paper. If you don't, sometimes I have questions where people are saying, what is a nail form backing? If you don't sculpt with nail forms, you aren't going to have nail form backing. If you ever have stickers like from um, just regular stickers, like children's stickers, or you have address label stickers or packing slip stickers, anything that has that thing where you peel off the sticker and then you've got the shiny backing keep that shiny backing and you can sculpt acrylic on it and it'll peel right off so after you have your two fins sculpted peel them off that shiny backing it's actually a fin and then it's the tip of the tail so you're going to glue the dorsal fin on and then you're going to glue the tip of the fin on 
and then you're going to let those bits of glue set there for a second and then you're going to use more of your gray acrylic just to smooth them on round them out you're also going to use that gray acrylic to thicken them so that they have some strength on this nail like i said in the beginning it's wearable with the extent of possibly those fins and tail tip breaking using clear acrylic you're going to encapsulate this nail will not get filed with that in mind, you're going to want to encapsulate cautiously. If you are somebody that generally needs to file because things get bulky or uneven or there's weird shapes somewhere, just take your time with this, okay? Don't rush the process. Make sure you take your time so that you don't need to file because if you do need to file, you just take, take a risk of filing off a fin or getting filing through to something so you just really want to avoid having to file so just do just do it carefully so we're going to go through and just encapsulate our sharky so that he's completely covered up by our clear water after that is done you're going to take more clear acrylic and you're going to build up some waves around the shark so you're going to take your clear acrylic you can mix some white into it to create some um, white water to create a little bit more of that wave look that's kind of up to you i really like mixing in that little bit of white you can even use like a milky white if you don't want to go straight in for a full white if it looks like that's going to be a little too aggressive right away and just grab that two-tone bead and add some waves that is such a beautiful very easy effect to add so you just dip your brush first into the clear acrylic and then just add a little tiny dab of the white acrylic press that down and then when it goes to where the fin breaks the water you're going to take that bead and set it on one side of the fin and then just kind of drag it down away from the fin down towards the tip of the nail do the same thing on the other side pull it down away down towards the other side making a v-shape and then with a little bit brighter of a white add a little bit of white acrylic towards the very points of each of those waves what I did is I actually went through and I took full strength acrylic and I added a couple different layers on the tips of each of my waves and kind of built up height with it as well. So I went and I just kind of added a couple layers on top of each other just to get not only a more intense white water on my waves, but also some extra dimension because in that situation, that's not going to be delicate, but it is going to add some really cool effects. So there you can see that extra little bit of brightness as well as just some some texture so you can decide with adding waves and adding those details kind of when enough is enough depending on how much of the background you want to see how clear you want the shark to be if you want the shark to be super visible you may not want to add as many waves as i did if you want the shark to be a little more obscured and a little less obvious if you don't like sharks you might want him to be a little more covered up it kind of depends on your you know how how much you want that shark to be seen. So then we're going to add a little bit of detail to the shark's fins that are exposed out of the water with acrylic paint. Add a little bit of highlights on the waves with acrylic paint as well. And then apply some gel sealer over the water to make sure it is nice and shiny and wet looking. That is going to help the shark just so that you can see it a little bit add some clarity to the water so that the details we did add to the shark are visible and then after that is cured you can apply some uh, 3d glaze over the shark fins that are sticking out just to protect that acrylic paint that we did add to the fins and then that's it it's so cool i love this encapsulated effect i love just the layered effect i know i'm a little late for shark week i apologize for that but it's here it might be late but better late than never i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all next week bye